In this question, we have a sample that contains 9.01 grams of diatomic hydrogen, H2. We're also told that diatomic hydrogen has a molar mass of 2.02 grams per mole. And our goal is to calculate how many hydrogen molecules are in the sample. Okay, so, so far, we practiced firstly calculating between moles and particles. So particles meaning atoms, molecules, or formula units. We then practiced calculating between moles and mass using the molar mass. Now this question asks us to go from mass ending up with molecules, which are particles. So if we want to go from mass to particles, first we're going to have to go from mass to moles. Then we're going to go from moles to particles. So we're going to have to have another stop in here to moles before we go to particles. So these questions are going to have two steps. So figure out what you're starting with and what you're ending up with. And then look, what's the intermediate thing? Most often it's moles. So we're gonna convert into moles first because we know how to get between moles and mass. Then we're gonna convert from moles to particles because we know how to get between moles and particles. So let's write down our conversion factors. So firstly, we've been told the molar mass. From the question, we've been told it's 2.02 grams per mole. So what that tells us is that 2.02 grams of diatomic hydrogen, H2, is equal to one mole of diatomic hydrogen, H2. So that's our conversion factor we get from our molar mass. We also need the conversion factor for moles and particles. And that is here in our reference sheet the amount of matter that contains 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 particles. So our other conversion factor is one mole equals 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 particles. So we've got our number and unit for our question. We want to get rid of grams, so we're gonna put grams on the bottom of our fraction and we're gonna be converting from grams into moles as our first step. So we need to add our conversion factor to make sure the top and bottom are equal for this fraction. We know that 2.02 grams of hydrogen equals one mole of hydrogen. So there's our conversion for getting from grams into moles. Next, we need to get from moles into particles or in other words, into molecules. So we've got moles on the top of our fraction, we want to get rid of that. So we're going to put moles on the bottom of this second fraction so they'll cancel out. We want to end up with molecules, and then we need our conversion factor here. We know one mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23 particles or molecules. So one mole is equal to 6.02 e for times 10 to the power of 23 molecules. Okay, wonderful. So now we're ready to go ahead and do our calculation. So we're gonna multiply everything on the top, divide by everything on the bottom, and then we need to cancel units that are the same on the top and the bottom. So the grams are gonna cancel, the moles are gonna cancel, and we're just left with molecules as our unit. So let's do that calculation now. We've got 9.01 multiplied by one, multiplied by 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 molecules divided by 2.02 times 1. So if we put that into our calculator, we get an answer of 2.68 times 10 to the power of 24 molecules. So we can fill that answer in here. 2.68 e for times 10 to the power of 24. So you can see here, in just 9 grams, 9.01 grams of diatomic hydrogen, we had 2.68 times 10 to the power of 24 molecules. That's a huge number of molecules. And that again helps to show you why we use moles 
to measure things because the number of molecules is just so huge, even in a small amount of diatomic hydrogen. In this question, we have 1.28 times 10 to the power of 24 formula units of lithium nitride. Lithium nitride has a molar mass of 34.91 grams per mole, and our goal is to find the mass of the sample. So we need two conversion factors here. We need the conversion factor from moles and particles, which we already got from the reference sheet, and we need the conversion factor from the molar mass. So we have that the molar mass equals 34.91 grams per mole. And remember, what that means is that 34.91 grams of lithium nitride, Li3N, is equal to one mole of lithium nitride, Li3N. So we've got our two conversion factors to use here. And in this question, we're starting with formula units, which is like particles. And we're ending up with mass. But we can't convert directly between those two. Instead, we can convert from particles to moles using our first conversion factor, and then from moles to grams using our second conversion factor. So we're going to go first to moles, then we're going to go to mass. Okay, so let's go ahead and fill in our conversion table. So here we have our question number and unit. We want to divide by the unit that's in our question so we can cancel it out. So on our first fraction, we're going to have formula units on the bottom. We're trying to convert into moles to start with. And we can use our conversion factor here, which is that one mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 particles. So 6.02 E for times 10 to the power of 23 particles. There we go. Then we're converting from moles into mass. So we want moles now to be on the bottom of our fraction so that it will cancel out. Grams on the top, and we're using our conversion factor here, which is that 34.91 grams equals one mole of lithium nitride. Wonderful, okay. So we've got our table set up. Now we just need to multiply everything on the top multiply everything on the bottom and divide. And we can cancel our units. We have formula units on the top and formula units on the bottom, so those cancel. We have moles on the top and moles on the bottom, so those can cancel, and we're ready to do our calculation. So we end up with 1.28 times 10 to the power of 24, multiplied by one, multiplied by 34.9 grams, divided by 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23, multiplied by one, and if we put that all into our calculator, we get an answer of 74.2 grams. So let's check that now. So you can see here, 1.28 times 10 to the power of 24 formula units of lithium nitride, which is a huge amount, gives us just 74.2 grams. So again, this demonstrates the mole concept Moles are an important way to help us measure the number of atoms or formula units or molecules that we have because we just need tons of them, a huge amount, in order to get even just a small mass.